I'm Greg Milner from Mount Milner College. Just going to show you a, a cylinder with a single flower. Now these, there's many different types of cylinders. This one has a pattern on it and the reason for that is the manufacturers have been very clever. If this was clear perspex and you're putting in a water source such as a floss bag or a water vial or in fact wrapped oasis because any of those methods are acceptable. Um, it's seen so therefore you have to ribbon over, hessian over, camouflage it. Um, if you did do that, always make sure you work at the back to a join. There's a join in the perspex. However, with these, you've already got a pattern. Now, you're either going to love these or you're going to hate them. And some florists sell these on a daily basis. And some florists would never even have them in their store. So it's always been like that. They've been around, they've been a popular item since the 80s. So, I'm just going to turn that to face me. It's got a carry tie. I put it into a floss bag. I've got, because this is a short rose, I've actually got a bit of cellophane sitting in the bottom. Alright, now, I want that rose to sit between the petals so that you can see it. And I put a little bit of potostrum in there purely because we just want to make sure that there's a little bit of volume here. And often the roses have been pre-stripped, so it means it's a little bit naked in that area. Now, although you can see the floss bag, if you're worried about that, you could do a ribbon band. But because of the petals, it's barely visible and it's giving a good water source. If you wanted to put ribbon on this, that's always optional. You can attach it to the lid, but then a lot of florists don't like using the lids because of condensation. So I'm just going to do a very simple little bow, a little turn blue, and that's six loops. I'm going to do some longer tails, so we can do multiples of those if we wanted to. It tizzies it up, and remember, if it's a tizzy look that you want, it'll attract perhaps this buyer. So I put a little bit of wire there, but what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to cut it. So I'm just looking for a little bit of tie. I'll take that off. Right, so we've got the ribbon cutters here. I'll cut these, cut this. And I just want to show you two little techniques. If we cut that quite short, like that, press that together, you can take it through the air hole, which holds this um, tie in place. That can go inside, and then you fork the wires. And I'll just show you this. Just let me do it, and then I'll show you. Fork the wire open, so if you can just see that I've forked it open so I've gone up to a north and a south. Don't put sticky tape on it because if you do, the sticky tape, if there is any form of dampness, can come adrift. So that's, that's a good way of just attaching it to you know, the side, just for a little bit of embellishment. Alternatively, we could take a little tie, even the ribbon or the little bit of twine that I got, and you can tie it onto here. So just take your tie across, tie it, and then tie your bow on. But do it tightly so that it can't move. So that's just one of your many options with regard to your single flower presentation. But always remember, your perspex must be at the back. Now these do come in different colours. Um, if you're in Victoria, talk to APAC. Um, I know they're Australian wide. Um, have talked to them because they've got plain, they've got colours, um, there's even some that have, if they're still available, they certainly were last time, got little lights in the bottom of them, uh, which are catering for a certain market. So, not my taste, to be honest, but we don't always make things that are our taste. It's really a case of, well, what's an item that sells? And it's a good way of getting a good profit margin for a single flower. Hope you enjoyed watching that. Thank you.